Um, I've begun riding her in the snaffle just because she's become a grand a grandkid horse. And I want my grandson to be able to ride her in a loose rein with her gait. He ha he's right now having a little bit of trouble with her gait. So, and um, her head is usually brought into position with the big shank Tennessee Walker bits. And so what, what I'm gonna do is show how we can bring a horse's head down, make the horse flexible from the head to the tail and ride the horse on a loose rein and still in gait. So when I get finished with Sunny, I expect her to be flexible. I expect her to be maybe even more responsive than she is because she's very responsive. Uh, maybe we'll even get her a little less responsive and uh, we'll get her collected at her, she's already collected, but we'll get her collected on a snaffle bit and we'll get her riding in gait on a loose rein. So now I'm going to do a little lunging with her. Not that I need to teach her lunging for respect, but that I believe that, you know, bending on a big circle is an important part of bending under saddle. And uh, lunging also gives you an opportunity to teach them to move at different speeds, to respond to voice commands to stay at the speed you request and to change directions and how you change directions determines whether you're able to get some hindquarter work in there at the same time. Uh, I don't know how much hindquarter work I'm going to get on Sunny because she's definitely acting older. <laughs> so most people don't teach the send command until they've taught the lunge command. Uh, but I have that in another video series about how you first start when they don't even know how to do a circle. Maybe they're just a colt or something. The first thing you have to do is disengage the hindquarters to take away their strength. And then you begin getting them to move out in a circle. Every horse begins by disengaging hindquarters. You watch. Every step Sunny takes in a circle around me, She's disengaging the hindquarters, okay, on her own. But she already knows. Now I'm going to point to her. I've already taught her that point means go. So I'm having no problem at the walk. You can watch my other video series for beginning lunging. Sunny's far beyond a beginner. She's already pretty supple and the walk and the gait to the point that I can hang the lunge line very loosely. And that's what I want to do. And if she begins to make it tout, I'm going to pull her nose in a little with those pressure points. 
So you won't, you won't be able to start out on a loose line like I am right now. This is a more advanced horse. I've spent a little time teaching her the higher degree of lunging, which is on a loose line. Actually, you'll get to where you can drag your lunge line on the ground. That was just beginning changing of directions, and it's my signals that are confused here, not her. You stay behind the drive line. That's why the rope is on the neck. Getting in front of the drive line tells the horse to slow down. So as long as I haven't changed the signal, she hasn't changed the gait, and that's where you want to get them to. You want to get them to where they'll just continue going softly around you and you barely have to move. You're moving the feet while you yourself are standing still. She's a little tall, only because she thought, now she's changing. She's learned to be so automatic, she uh, recognizes my body language, she said to change there. Now I'm going to ask her to speed up, and that sometimes the drive line from behind makes them speed up. The drive line from in front makes them slow down. Whoa. But the drive line from inside the circle can push them out, and I've helped. A friends that way that really didn't know how to lunge and their horses were coming in on it too much and you just need to push them out with your uh, tool. You know that tool can be the end of a rope or a stick. Now out of the walk I'm going to ask her to speed up. Basically the same as you do under saddle. Under saddle it's squeeze, click, spank. Here I'm just going to click and I expect her to stay in this gate until I ask otherwise. If she slows down, I'll click again. If she were to not speed up when I click, then I would tap the, gr tap the ground. Right now, the line is more, more taut, and so I'm working on her gating on a loose line like this, just by pulling her nose ever so slightly in and asking her to keep the circle tight, loose, small. <laughs> and every time she begins to try to slow down into the walk, Gonna change hands, pull it in. Normally I do that a little differently, asking for some hindquarters engagement, but I'm not gonna do that with Sunny today. I just want her moving at a gate in a circle. On a loose line, she slows down, I click. And the way that she's gotten to where she will do this is when she was on a tout line, I gently tucked her in, I gently pulled her nose toward me, and then kept sending her. This is a much more relaxed and soft lunge than the typical horse that is stretching out as far, I don't know if y'all have been able to see all that, 
the typical horse that stretches out as far as the line will go and it becomes a lunge fight. But this is where that beginning lunging will eventually get you to. And you can see that I'm not having to do very much clicking with Sunny because she's a pretty responsive and obedient horse. She doesn't try to run the show. She knows when someone's asking her to do something and she usually does it until she gets a different command. She's just pacing. She's not even doing a full hard pace right now. More of a real quick second pace. And this gait, believe it or not, is very smooth to ride on her. Probably because of that split second difference between the time the back, back right hits the ground and the back front. Now I need to pull her in a little bit. Now the reason she was stretching out was I was pointing my pull. And the reason she slowed right there is I've generally used the command tool on the ground to say stop and then hand out to change direction. And then that's where a lot of people have used rollbacks to get haunches worked in. But I'm not doing that today. I, I just am so proud of her loose line right now. Okay, she's obviously trying to walk because she's tired, but I'm not going to let her walk on her terms. It's going to be on mine. Whoa. Whoa. Eyes on me. Stand. And, whoa. She, sometimes she gets a little confused because Usually in the join up, if you turn your back, that means for them to come in and start following. And that's what she's doing. So I was trying to stand and show you how she would respect my space. And that'll come from me saying, well, stand. And my little hand here that can sometimes tell her to back up when I'm coming at whoa, tells her that I want her to stand still. And when she makes a mistake, I say, whoa, good girl. Whoa. And now, even with no hands, I can begin to move toward her hindquarters. And just when you try to demonstrate it, it doesn't work. Whoa. Now, this is kind of a dance. It may not be as good as some people can dance, but I think we're beginning we're in our beginning dancing lesson. Come on. Life's a dance. 